Stories from the Bible by Thomas Nelson Publishing. Today's story is Moses and the Bulrushes. Long ago, in a country called Egypt, there lived a girl named Miriam. She was 12 years old. Her hair was long and dark, and her face was gentle. She had a brother called Aaron. He was a good boy and helped his father with the work. Their mother had a child, a little boy. He was a happy baby. He laughed and smiled at them from his cradle. They all lived in a dark house near a great river called the Nile. It was warm during the day, cold at night in that little house. Not far away stood a great white palace. It was where the king lived. He was the ruler of Egypt, and he was a proud and cruel man. He wanted to be king of Egypt for as long as he lived. He did not want anyone else to take his place. Miriam's people had come from a land called Israel, and they were God's chosen people. But the king did not like them. He made them work very hard, and he said that all their baby boys had to be killed. Outside the big white palace marched the soldiers who guarded the king. They were hard and cruel like the king. When they heard what the king wanted, they said they would help him. They would go to the houses and take away every baby boy. They would throw them into the river. Miriam said, What shall we do, mother? I do not want the soldiers to take my little brother away. Do not be afraid, Miriam, said her mother. I have a plan. Wait and see. When the baby was three months old, he was a strong child, and his crying was very loud. His mother was worried that one of the king's cruel soldiers would hear him. She picked some bulrushes from behind the house. She made a basket, and she shaped it like a cradle. On the outside, she spread black tar so that the water could not get in. She put a lovely soft cloth inside. Then, very gently, she put the baby into the basket and called to Miriam, Come with me and be very quiet. I want you to help me and do what I say. They crept down to the side of the river and looked for a good place to put the basket. It could not go where the water ran or it would float away. They hid the basket in a clump of bulrushes and Miriam sat down behind it. You must stay here, Miriam, said her mother. Watch the basket. This is just the place where the king's daughter comes to swim. She will find your little brother here. She will take him to the palace. If she does, then he will be safe. Miriam sat very still behind the bulrushes. She was afraid. Before long, she heard voices and girls laughing. The princess was walking along the path. A slave held a sunshade over her. Miriam held her breath. Her little brother had begun to cry, for he was hungry by that time. What's that? called the princess. A basket is hidden there. Go and bring it to me. One of the servant girls paddled out into the water. She lifted up the basket and took it back to the princess. She lifted the lid. There was the poor baby, crying and kicking his legs. The princess didn't know much about babies, but she picked him up and cuddled him. Soon he was quiet. What a lovely child, she cried. I should like to keep him. 
Miriam stood up and walked forward. Do you need a nurse for your baby? I know someone who would be pleased to help you, she said. Yes, said the princess, I do need a nurse. Will you bring her to me? Miriam ran home and told her mother what had happened. They hurried back to where the princess was waiting. You may take him away and look after him, said the princess to Miriam's mother. I shall see that you are paid. When he is older, you must bring him back to me. So Miriam, the baby, and their mother went back to the dark little house. They lived there safely. When the baby was older, his mother took him to the palace. The princess loved the little boy, and she called him Moses. Stories from the Bible.